your significant other a seafood lover? Might you get in the kitchen and cook something up for the big love day coming up? Or better yet, our next guest might just get you into the seafood craving and you might head out to a great restaurant. But whatever you do, we are thrilled to have Red Lobster's executive chef with us. Dustin joins us and Dustin, for show and tell, what do you got for seafood? All right, so here we have uh, lobster as an ingredient. So this is a lobster linguine pasta. Anytime that I make lobster pasta, I like to add as much lobster as pasta so you get lobster in every bite. Um, and this is great for the pe person who's not quite sure if they like seafood or have never tried uh, lobster. So, you know, kind of ease your way into it. The second item is uh, variety. So people who really like to kind of mix and match or really like seafood and want to have a variety of seafood. This is a uh, lobster tail uh, with a grilled salmon, grilled jumbo shrimp, and that's topped with a decadent brown butter sauce. The third dish is uh, one of the dishes that we have for our lobster fest this year. This is our dueling lobster tails. So you have two lobster tails. One is topped with tender shrimp and a garlic butter sauce. The other is stuffed with a crab and seafood stuffing. Uh, some of the, some of my favorite and delicious dishes. And I've actually brought uh, along a couple ingredients to quickly show you how to, to make those. So here we have uh, our red lobster signature seasoning. We have uh, panko breadcrumbs, jumbo lump crab, fresh lemon juice, uh, a garlic cream sauce. Mix all that up in a bowl until it's combined. Place it on top of a lobster tail, 425 degree oven for 15 minutes or until it reaches 145 degrees. And that's a, that's a, a little secret to keep uh, tender lobster and not have tough lobster. And then while that's in the oven baking, you can make your shrimp topping. So here I have some whole butter and a pan over medium heat. So we'll just add our butter to that. And you just want to get the butter to melt down. And as it's melting down, we're going to add a little bit of uh, chopped garlic. You can add as much as you want or as little as you want. It's really up to you. So we'll get that cooked up. As soon as you start smelling the aroma of the shrimp, then you know it's time to add, or the, as soon as you start smelling the aroma of the garlic, now you know it's time to add your shrimp. So we add our shrimp, saute that up. And the key to cooking great shrimp is as soon as it starts to turn pink and it's not translucent anymore, you know it's done and it doesn't need to be cooked anymore. So there we go. And uh, so here we have our uh, shrimp topping already prepared. And we will just take that and spoon it over the top of some lobster. Uh, it's that easy, re really, really quick. Uh, and, you know, my last tip is, uh, you know, take the pressure off of Valentine's Day. Leave the cooking to the experts. Come see us at Red Lobster. If you go to redlobster.com, uh, look for a Red Lobster near you, uh, and we'd love to see you. Well, simply delicious on all fronts. Wow, I think I want to go to Red Lobster immediately. But if I don't like lobster, just saying, what are some of the things on the menu there that you love? That doesn't have lobster. Uh, you know, I like our, um, I'm a big Admiral's Feast fan, so uh, I really like that. Uh, and I love our coconut shrimp. Uh, but, you know, I'd get in a lot of trouble if I didn't mention the biscuits. I, I definitely love our biscuits. Me too, man. Those biscuits work well with all the dishes there. Thank you so much, Dustin. Have a great, I know you guys are going to be busy for the holidays, uh, Valentine's Day, but have a great one. Hey, thanks a lot. Appreciate it.